this is a clip that's trending right now, and I wanted yes. to weigh on it regarding Michael B. Jordan and calling out a woman, a reporter on the red carpet, that used to call him corny back in school. And what I want to do, Deli, is, is pay attention. Watch his faces at each time. Just watch his eyebrows. Like mm-hmm. each moment she's talking, you just see like how just real it is. Mm-hmm. How dare you? How dare like how dare you? <laughs> yes. I know what's up. Don't tell me anything otherwise. I know what's up. And here, let's play this clip right now mm-hmm. about the woman that called the man, Michael B. Jordan, corny. Creed. Back all the way to Chad Science in Newark, okay? What a corny kid, right? <laughs> no, I did not say that. Misquoted for sure. Watch his eye. No, you did not hear me say corny. I said we used to make fun of the name. But yeah, he is obviously killing things out here. And Keep playing the director it. and the star of Creed 3. And, you know, we know each other. We go way back all the way to Chad Science and Just Newark, watch, his, okay? watch his eyebrows. <laughs> no. Yeah, see I that? Not say Popping that. his eyebrows. Yeah, man. for sure. Good. Yeah. No, you did. Okay, pause it. Good. A man's eyebrows doing that <laughs> to a woman yeah. is the equivalent of you doing like this. Yes, it is. So like- it's the equivalent of you doing like that to a man. Yeah. When, a, when, you, when you hit him with, hit him with the eyebrows. Yeah, you're like, whoa. He knew what's up. Yeah. Unbelievable. You know how they say that success is the sweetest revenge? Oh, yes. <laughs> okay. Oh, my God. Success is the sweetest revenge. You got Michael B. Jordan out there on the red carpet, killing it. Premier yep. of Creed, doing his thing. He meets this reporter who used to call him corny mm. back in school. And it's one of those things where it's like, maybe he was a little corny for her back in school. But just look how the tables have flipped. Killing it. A-list actor. And here's this lady that just looks like she dunked her head in a fucking banana peel. Okay? <laughs> Interviewing him with her yellow hair. Yep. Clearly ain't looking her best while he's on top of the game. Yep. And it's like, it makes me it makes me basically say to you young guys out there, you may not be the shit right now. You may not be on your A-game right now. Give it time. Yep. Give it five years. Give it ten years. Next thing you know, you're freaking Michael B. Jordan out there at your premiere. Mm-hmm. Your time is coming. Yes, yes, but that's if you put in the work. Oh, you better, you put, in you better put in the work. Better put in the work for sure. But I, I love, I love this clip. Shout out to you, Michael B. Jordan. Like, do your thing. This could have been a girl that had bullied him through through school. Like, yeah. we don't know that. No, like, we did. have no idea. She did. Yeah, she did. She used to call him Michael Jordan and make fun of him for acting and stuff yeah. like that. And now look at how the tables have now turned. she's interviewing him <laughs> on, at his. His. on the premiere. Yep. And just play the clip one more time. Yes, watch please. Watch his eyebrows. You got to start the clip over because we're already mid through it. Watch his eyebrows. This is like the telltale. Like he's just refreshed. Yeah. Just the, it's all in the eyebrows. He's yep. basically just taunting her with the eyebrows because he know, look at this clown right there with yeah. the yellow hair and the glasses. And the star Started of over. Creed yeah. 3. And you know, we know each other. We go way back all the way to Chad Science in Newark. Oh, okay? yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I remember you. <laughs> no. I'm a corny kid, right? <laughs> I did not yeah, say eyebrow, that. Pop. Misquoted for sure. No, no you I heard did it. did not hear me say cry. I said we used to make fun of the name. But yeah, he yeah, what's is up? obviously what's up? Yeah. killing mm-hmm. things out here. Good. And, and here's what's going on. You want to know what's going on? Michael B. Jordan. Good for you. Here's what's going on in his head. By the way, you know what's going on in his head? What? Oh, this stupid ass bitch. Yeah. <laughs> stupid question. Look Good. at her corny ass glasses. She got corn on She's her head. Just looking like a stupid human banana with glasses. At my movie. At my movie yep. premiere, trying to kiss my ass during an interview. Mm-hmm. And you know, all I'm thinking about is for 10 years, <laughs> I've been thinking about, oh, I'm the corny kid, motherfucker. Oh, I'm the corny kid. I'm the corny one pursuing my dreams. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm the corny guy that has a vision. Oh, I'm the corny guy that has a that that is that is going after it, is getting after it. I'm the corny one? Mm-hmm. Oh, really? Yep. Okay. Watch me eyebrow pop you right in the face. Yeah. As he should, though. As he should. Like, I I can imagine what a what a how the tables have turned, you yeah. know, uh, for him in that situation to like, I think that could have been even like a, a check of like your success. Like, wow, look at how far I've come, yep. you know, being made fun of growing up to do what I love to do. And now look at me today. You know, my bully is now somebody who's admiring my success. Ah. Yeah. She also did something else, too. Yeah. Uh, Turn your haters into it's your a, appreciators. Absolutely. And he there did exactly is. that. And I wow. give you a lot of props because you yeah. don't have to be disrespectful. You don't have to curse her out. You don't have to, you 
you know, make her look ridiculous because this whole situation, she yep. looks ridiculous by herself. She looks ridiculous trying to cover up the fact that she had done those things in the past. Yeah, and audio did leak. She did say this. Yeah. Yeah, she did ha- she made a comment about him like um like she made fun of his past relationship mm. that oh, remember the girl you took to the aquarium that you rented out? Now a year later, she's with somebody else. So she used to make fun of that a lot. Well, it's such oh, a wow. shame. Yeah. Such a shame. And there's even people reacting. I think Joe Budden yeah. reacted to this clip, and he was upset that Michael B. Jordan did this because I guess it made he was doing it to his sister, his you know his black girl sister. And I'm like, <laughs> come on, like what does that have to do with anything? No. That has nothing to do with what the main of the story is. So yeah. it's like you're trying to take something that's not there to defend this lady's yeah. error to make Michael B. Jordan look like he's being an asshole, no. and he's not. You know, I think props to you, my guy. By the way, like, this isn't a race thing. This isn't all. a gender thing. This at isn't all. a sexuality. This is you used to hate on me. And it made me feel like an idiot. Yep. But I didn't give a shit. I kept doing what I was doing. You called me corny. You made fun of relationships. Mm-hmm. You were trying me. You were hating on me. And now look at you. Yep. Dying to interview me. Rolling up on me on the red carpet at my premiere looking like a banana head. Yep. And now you want me to like treat you with grace and respect, which I will. Yep. But I will subtly let you know, oh, I'm the corny guy, motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Oh, really? Yep. Oh, re- I'm the corny dude? Look at you. All right, cool. Mm-hmm. Cool. Have a great life. Yep. Catch you later. I got to go do a thousand more interviews right now. Yep. And I'm out. I thank love you. this. But this thank was you. A, this was so a check This girl for is trending for all the wrong reasons yep. right now. This. And he's trending for all the right reasons. Correct. Yep. Respect to him. Check for all those so, haters out there. Like yep. you said, turn them into your motivators. Okay. Um, a couple more stories. Um, so here's a story right now. I saw this article and I was like, ooh, wee, this is mm-hmm. perfect for the South Cast. So if you want more women and more success in your life, this is what you must accept as the tough truth. So here's a whole article right now. But basically, I'm going to summarize the article right now. Mm-hmm. And it's basically the, the entire premise of this article is that there is no success without risk. And there's also no getting the woman of your dreams or the hot woman in that you want in your life without risk. Okay. Now this is something risk that most men fear. Mm-hmm. Okay. You can't get women without risk or there's no success without risk. Just remember this. Your comfort zone will kill you. And it takes courage to get out there and start a business. It takes courage to get out there and fight. It takes courage to get out there and risk it all and do something. And it takes courage to walk across the bar and talk to a girl it takes courage and it takes risk. Mm-hmm. But there's no courage that it takes to slide in the DM. It's no courage to swipe right. Yeah. This doesn't take courage. So you know how they say that without there's no uh, without pain, there's no gain? Yeah. So there's a great quote from uh, the entrepreneur Naval Ravikant. He says, most of the gains in life come from suffering in the short term so you can get paid in the long term. Mm. And I love this. So if you like that clip... Click right here to watch another, or if you want to watch the entire SauceCast, click right here.